Hey guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my video today. If you don't know me, my name is Kathy. I'm an artist and today we're going to draw mushrooms. I started this book last year. So this is a book that I'm just drawing mushrooms in. It doesn't matter what medium I use. It doesn't matter the theme. It doesn't matter the style. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's all just mushrooms. That's really the only rule. Today we're gonna draw with paint pen, light colored paint pen, and talk about the materials a little bit. I wanted to show you how I like to, if I have a light colored sketchbook, how I like to sometimes color my page with a simple black marker instead of using paint, acrylic paint or gouache or something that I need to actually paint on here. I just like to use a marker sometimes. It's super simple. It's all contained. You can travel with it. You know, it's just a really great, simple and effective way to turn a light page dark so you can then go ahead and use your paint pen on it. Today I'm using a permapake marker. One of these is the old branding and one is the new. I don't remember which one's newer, but it doesn't really matter. This is what it'll look like in the store. This is the black. It comes in lots of different colors. There's even a white. Um, it's not a very opaque white, so I don't actually use that one. But as for a black marker that's an alternative to a Sharpie, this is my favorite. It does not smell. It's not an alcohol-based marker. It's a pigment-based marker. Well, whatever pigment they use doesn't smell, but it certainly doesn't have that strong Sharpie scent. It doesn't have that. So, but you can get really nice, um, even or textured, depending on how much ink is left in your pen, consistent, neutral black color with it. Other pens that you can use for this purpose, just to lay down the color, you could use something like a Crayola marker. I don't set out to buy them. They just sort of end up in my house. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I have an old set and I just use them for various, you know, random things. They pick up when you put paint pen on them. So if you can see here, this is paint pen, opaque paint pen dabbed over the Crayola marker. And as you can see, it picks up the ink a bit. And this is paint pen over the permapake marker, and it does not really pick up it. You can see a tiny bit there, but um, for the most part, it's still, it's nice and opaque and doesn't have this bleeding into the color situation here. So that's a great thing about the permapakes. They uh, really do allow your pen, your paint pen to not really bleed through. Um, and also, if I was to use a Sharpie on one of these pages, it was gonna, it would bleed through this side. And these permapakes don't do that. So, another great reason I like the permapake by Sakura. In terms of paint pens, I have two favorites: Uni Pasca, which are great, very opaque. They they work very nicely. I also really love the Molotow One for All acrylic paint pen markers. Oh, they each have pros and cons. For today, we're going to use the Uni Pasca. This is the reference book that I've been using. It's National Audubon Society Field Guide to Mushrooms. I love this book. I love books like this where you can get tons of different types of mushroom or whatever you want, whatever reference you want, like whatever nature reference. They give you the visual reference. But then I can go and look up the specific mushroom. I can learn different things like whether it's edible or poisonous, the season that they grow in and where how they grow, like the habitat and then whereabouts geographically, just all these little details that you can get. And um, you can add that into your art and that just makes it so much more fun. All right, let's talk about colors. One little tip about using paint pens on a dark background, I like to use an off-white a lot of the time because it just adds a little extra something to your art. It's not as stark as white. And if you're using a few different shades, 
you can sort of coordinate with an ivory for your white instead of using just plain white. Most of my Poscas are the PC3M size, which is like this bullet point, but I do have one Posca that's the thinner pointy line. I'm gonna use this one today. really hope you enjoyed watching my creative process in my mushroom sketchbook today and I will be back soon with another video. Have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.